Hi, in this video I will show you how to make conductive paint at home. Very simple, cheap and effective. Material that are needed is first graphite powder. You can buy 100 ml of these for approximately 5 euro from AliExpress. I'll put the link in the description. Usually graphite powder is used for lubrication. In certain applications where temperature is very high, you don't want to use oil or grease for lubrication because they burn. So then you can use graphite powder. Or in some other applications, the devices and the components are very small. So if you use oil or grease, the drag force that is created by oil and grease will destroy your device. In such case, you want to use graphite powder for lubrication. For example, in this model Stirling engine, if you want to lubricate the piston, you don't want to use any oil. You want to use graphite powder. If you use oil, it will stop working. Anyway, so we use graphite powder to create conductivity and we need a binder. For binder, we are going to use nail hardener. This one sticks to everything, even to plastics. So material of this nail hardener is mainly consists of butyl acetate, ethyl acetate, and some other component. Cellulose, acetate, butyrate, and some other thing. Alternatively, you could use, uh, for example, filling base coat or other things that girls they use for, for their nail. So you should go to the girl store and get any of these. For the sake of comparison, I'm going to also make some conductive paint using acrylic varnish and then we compare the conductivity of paint made by this one and also conductive paint made by nail hardener. So I will use this scale to basically create different conductive paint with different uh, percentage of uh, graphite powder and this nail hardener and then we see what type of conductivity we achieve. So this is the first layer. I wait a little bit so that it dries and then I add the second layer here. All right, so now they are almost dried. I add the second layer. Right, so now make the same thing with acrylic varnish. All right, so it's the moment of the truth. We are going to measure the resistance of these conductive paint that we created. So I put the probes of the multimeter approximately one centimeter away from each other. These two lines are made of nail hardener. These two lines are made of acrylic varnish. In both cases, obviously we use graphite powder. Okay, so first we measure the resistance of these. It's very large. The resistance of this part, very large. Acrylic varnish. So if you use 10% of graphite powder, either with nail hardener or with acrylic varnish, you will get resistances that are really high value, more than hundreds of mega ohms. With 30%, this one gives us approximately 1.3 kilo ohm. If you use two layers, 
1.2 kilo ohm. So obviously between one layer and two layer depends on um, how much paint I took when I made the one layer or how much paint I took when I made the two layers. So we cannot really expect that this two layer to be exactly half of the one layer. But anyway, this produced 1.3, 1.4 kilo ohm, this produced 1.2 kilo ohm. With acrylic varnish, still this is very high, two layers. This one is approximately one mega ohm. Okay, interesting. So this one is 1.4 kilo ohm, 1.2 kilo ohm per centimeter per centimeter. Let's say this one is let's say larger than 100 mega ohm. This one is one mega ohm per centimeter. And then for this case, this one is around 500 kilo ohm. This one around 250 kilo ohm. This one 120 kilo ohm. This one 20 kilo ohm. So this is 20 kilo ohm. Per centimeter, this is 120 kilo ohm. This is 250 ohm per centimeter, and this one was 500 ohm. So we notice that if you want to produce resistances in order of ohm, hundreds of ohm, or kilo ohm, then nail hardener works better. And if you want to create resistances of tens of kilo ohm or mega ohm range, then acrylic varnish is a better choice. All right, so that's end of this video. See you next time. Bye.